and sure. I might kick it off. Oh, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. Um, yours. So obviously the reason Chelsea's here is that uh, unfortunately um, uh, she's been ruled out for this week's game under the AFL's concussion protocols, uh, which is clearly really disappointing for for her, uh, for for the team, uh, for everyone associated. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a challenging little process. Uh, post game, clearly it was an incident in the game. Post game, our medical team did an amazing job, looked after her really well, assessed her clinically, assessed the vision. Um, she did the scat test the next day, and she was she was flying. She passed all those metrics, and um, we were really happy. Uh, subsequently, uh, later in the week, the AFL chief AFL's chief medical officer provided us with more vision, which, upon review, uh, they and our medical team uh, determined that. Um, there was evidence there that she didn't meet some of the criteria of the AFL's concussion protocol and, and subsequently she's, uh, she's unfortunately been ruled out of the game, which is, um, you know, it's, a, it's really disappointing, it's really frustrating and clearly we're, you guys have come along to talk about uh, and a really important final for us, but we understand that that's probably going to be the, the story of the day, so we thought we'd get out the front and, uh, and let you hear from me and, and ultimately from Chelsea as well, who's managing some frustration and some disappointment at the moment, so uh, as we all are. Can you talk to us about the criteria, Doc? You said if she passed everything, then yeah, that's the, right. the criteria, what are Yeah, no, the criteria are the same, but uh, the extra vision provided by the AFL and, and the discussions between their medical team and our medical team um, meant that the, the assessment, there's a series of boxes that need to be ticked and, um, and a different box got ticked. So how do they explain Chelsea passing the tests so clinically, yeah, there's a heap of there's a heap of yeah, that's that's the protocol. That's that's the protocol. So concussions really tricky. Uh, they're trying to the medical teams, you know, worldwide are trying to work out exactly the best way to to manage and handle that. And you know, it's an ongoing, evolving process. Uh, current standard or current practice, best practice is to is to place a lot of weight on the on the vision. Um, the clinical assessments were all really strong. The SCAT assessment was clear, and as we said, she was making great progress. And we, the, I guess, from my perspective, I'm a coach, and uh, and I, my most important thing is that she's really well, and she's really healthy. And um, you know, while that while it's bloody frustrating for her because of that, uh, on the upside, I'm, I'm wrapped that she is well. Um, I'm frustrated as well that there's a, a protocol which means that she's not going to be able to play footy. Um, but I'm happier that she's she's healthy and in good shape. Chelsea, is it just me that's confused by that then? That, <laughs> that it's the vision that's effectively ruled you out? Yeah, yeah, I guess there's kind of the two passes. Clinically, um, when you get reviewed um, for concussion, you go through all the tests and everything. Um, and as mentioned, cleared clinically. Um, but there's another part of that, which is the vision. Um, and basically, once the vision's um, you know, been decided by higher up, um, that's it. You don't have, I guess, another say in that. That's the same time that's happened to you for a, a, an important game, isn't it? Yeah, obviously 2021, I missed a grand final. Um, you know, concussion is really serious. Um, and, you know, in 2021, an advocate, um, it was the first time that that, I guess, happened going into a final. Um, you know, where a player was concussed the week prior and misses a grand final, um, you know, and it was well documented that, um, you know, we used it as a, I guess, an opportunity to showcase that. Um, in this scenario, um, it's, yeah, I feel it's, it is frustrating and I'm disappointed, um, yeah, around the system and the process in place because clinically, um, you know, I was cleared of all of that. Um, and yeah, I only found out um, late last night, uh, that the story had changed. What was your reaction when you were told, and how how were you told? Yeah, well, I, I told Chels, um, and along with the with the doctor, um, and her reaction was, as you might anticipate, pretty pretty disappointed, pretty frustrated, and you know, in, in many circumstances, like this this is kind of a tougher situation. Well, it wasn't grand final in this, wasn't it? That was pretty tough. But uh, in many ways, this is a tougher situation because ultimately, uh, last time, clinically, she was ruled out as well. So um, there was no, in the end, there wasn't a grey area. The only grey area at that point was the change in the, in the definition of the period that you should be out post that situation. Whereas this case, clinically, she's passing all those tests. And so it's, yeah, for, for the athlete, 
uh, for everyone really, but for, particularly for the athlete, that's that's more. In some ways, it's more challenging because while I'm happy that she's healthy and well, she's happy that she's healthy and well, and then multi multiply that with a layer of frustration. So. Uh, really, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, and and I think part of the reason Chelsea wanted to be here today was to express some frustration at at the at the protocol, really. Um, but I guess we try to balance that with an understanding that um, that this is an evolving space, and that the medical people, medical teams, are trying to come up with the best possible model to put health and safety of our athletes first. Um, is it perfect? Well, that, in time, you know, maybe we'll come up with a perfect system, but uh, yeah, that, that's that's as it's unfolded. And I guess we're keen to be as open and transparent as we could uh, with how that has un has played out. Chelsea, how are you feeling physically at the moment? Yeah, fine. So um, yeah, as as Doc mentioned, it's it's a frustrating one. Um, yeah, uh, it's yeah, just a frustrating one, I guess, at this point in time. And um, you know, speaking with um, the medical team, unfortunately with this process, um, it means that some players um, who actually aren't concussed um, will, will miss games. Um, so that's part of that process, using the vision. Um, uh, and if you know, I had the same knock at training, um, we wouldn't have vision um, and I'd have a clinical assessment um, and I'd be playing this weekend, really. So. That's bizarre. Like that, I can't get my head around this. Is there? Do you have recourse to challenge this at all? Um, in the end, our medical team and the AFL's medical team are aligned in that these are the rules, and that uh, given the given the protocols that exist, um, no. <laughs> so uh, it's yeah, it's a tricky one. It's really tricky. Uh, you know, everyone's trying to do the best thing and trying to build a model that is sustainable and equitable and. Uh, but the reality, I mean, Chelsea highlights is the situation there whereby incidents that don't have vision attached to them have to be assessed clinically. Um, in this instance, there is, a, there is vision that is attached to the incident and therefore that has to be brought into the, into the equation as well and that's, that's what's happened. Chelsea, sorry about this. Um, it's a, a, a massive blow, obviously, but in history you've proven that these sorts of things, when they challenge you personally as an individual, don't affect the broader scope. Unfortunately, you have to be a, a spectator on Saturday. How are you going to help your team? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a really important game for our team and i um, really excited to see some of our young guns, you know, take the field and, um, you know, we've, we've had a couple of those girls in that uh, under 22 squad in Danielle Ponter and Abby Ballard uh, and Maddie Newman, which, you know, is a great, I guess, uh, individual acknowledgement for the work they've done this season. But also Tia Charlton's been pretty good Tia Charlton has been fantastic. She might, she might have <laughs> Neither did Caitlin Gould either, but <laughs> well, I think she's 23 actually, but anyway. Um, look, yeah, it's going to be great to be at home around our fans. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to watch them put on a massive show for our fans and, and hopefully get the W. Have you, have you given any thoughts of wearing a helmet to protect yourself a bit more? Uh, I have given it thought, um, but also speaking with other medical professions, there's not a lot of study that actually shows that it's um, beneficial to any regard. It might help hold my hair back and I might not have to tie it up as much, but... A bit more sponsorship. Um, a bit more sponsorship, <laughs> maybe, yeah. But, uh, yeah, good question. Um, yeah. So, I guess, like, a, a distraction and a blow for you ahead of... Yes. So they, how, do you, how do you move on from it, Doctor? Yeah. I guess it's oh, a pretty matter of fact, isn't it? That's it. it it's... Um, the reality is, as much as we'd love to have her out there, we don't. So now we just move forward and, uh, and you know, pick the team. We'll announce that uh, shortly. But uh, yeah, the players that are going to play have the opportunity to represent our club really strongly. Um, it's a really important game. Clearly, last week we had opportunities to, to you know, to win a game of footy, and we didn't. And we, uh, and to Melbourne's great credit, they played a, you know a really strong brand and got over the top of us. But yeah, we need to we need to respond to that. We've got an opportunity to put ourselves in a prelim final. So um, yeah, the f one one thing I know about footballers um, is that they once the once you get close to that moment of game, they can focus pretty sharply. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a disappointment. It's a, a slight distraction. But we'll have uh, we'll have our training session tomorrow night at Unley, 
open session if you want to get along, and um, uh, and then we'll yeah, we'll narrow the focus and get to work. You like the case line next week? You know, get through it. <laughs> that's it, mate. No. Yeah, well, that's the right, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to obviously do everything we can to win a game of footy, uh, to give everyone a chance to, to play next week, and yeah, significantly and importantly, a chance for Chelsea to play next week because she's ready to go. And <laughs> mm -hmm. um, do you mind if I ask you just about the? The men's but apparently the magic round is going to be confirmed to be held here in South Australia. Magic. Yeah. So every <laughs> every game obviously will be held here. Yeah. What just what are your thoughts on that, Doc? To have all the AFL teams. Well, I think it's appropriately named. I think it'll be magic. <laughs> be great. Yeah. <laughs> That's about all I think about it, mate. Yeah. I think it'd be awesome.